peeps, it's Jess Hill of Dirt Geek, and today we're gonna be covering something that I never thought I would do, but it's kind of fun. We are taste testing the two big names in Seattle Donuts blind. So coming up will be a video on my top donuts in Seattle, but in preparation for that, I realized, can I tell in a blind taste test Mighty O versus Top Pot? Mighty O and Top Pot being the two biggest names in donuts out here, with a slight twist, Top Pot is not vegan. Mighty O is. I decided to do this one pretty simply. I grabbed two donuts that are my personal favorites. I got the cake donut with chocolate glaze, known as the Double Trouble from Top Pot, and the Lots of Chocolate from Mighty O, and an apple fritter, because I freaking love apple fritters. Give me a good apple fritter, we're gonna be friends. So I was pretty excited about this. I am doing this completely blind. I'll keep my eyes closed through this just because that way I can not be dealing with stuff over my head. And my spouse is going to be handing me chunks of donut. And I'll have to try and guess which donut brand it is. Let's go. Ready. Am I holding this in the screen? A little further up. Okay. This is good. <laughs> so I have a donut. It feels like a fritter. It is a fritter. There's a very heavy glaze, which after looking at the items I gave to Naya, I mean, it immediately says that that's mighty -o. But that's not fair and that's too obvious and I've got to have a better excuse than that. There's a nuttiness and an earthiness that I'm going to say is more mighty -o than Top Pop. So I'm going to say that, that was mighty -o and hopefully not embarrass myself too much on YouTube. Okay, water, then next donut. Um, I'm glad I got a mug. You think ahead. Next donut! Okay, also feels like an apple fritter because it's kind of chunky and falling apart. It's very sweet, very apple sweet, They're like applesauce kind of sweet. And now I'm torn. I'm still thinking this is Top Bot. It's very conventionally sweet with cinnamon. There's no real undertones, it's just apple cinnamon sweet boom i am very curious to see how wrong i am but yeah okay so we're still going with the first one was mighty o because it had more complexity and flavor and then the second one was top pot because it was very retro and classically sweet all right on to the chocolate tried it i can totally tell which one this is just as the feel it's almost certainly top pot because i felt the glaze that was my error arg just trying to get into a good position, but I'm pretty certain it's likely Top Pot because the Top Pot one visually had a cleaner glaze that hadn't survived as much mugginess. Let's try it. Yep, super soft, chocolate pudding notes. This is almost certainly Top Pot. Yeah. I never realized how much it tastes like eating chocolate pudding. Like, it's like fluffy chocolate pudding. Neat. Last donut. Are you over there eating my donut? Maybe. <laughs> All right, donut number four. Denser crumb and earthier notes. I would almost guess espresso, but it's not quite espresso, just darker, earthier. And a denser crumb. I'm still gonna guess this is Mighty O because the crumb is denser, but that doesn't mean much. I just think of my deal as having a denser crumb because they try to, they're, they're trying more to be friendly to vegans with their stuff, so it tends to create a denser crumb. That means it's a very retro, slightly granular glaze. It's quite nice. Good stuff. All right, glasses on. I like my sight orbs working. All right, how wrong was I? So we went downstairs and much to my surprise and delight, I was 100% wrong. Why I'm so excited about this isn't that my palate is wrong, it's our perceptions change so much. On top of that, I, water, been eating too many donuts. I haven't eaten Mighty O in a long time, not because I don't like Mighty O, but because have you seen my Instagram feed? I'm slightly behind on everything. and. It means that my perception of my duo was losing against my perception of Top Pot. 
and that's what I find really interesting. I do think, based on the results of this, Mighty O deserves far more recognition because there was some really nicely fluffy stuff going on in there, and I'm rather impressed. Now, there's an interesting thing here that Mighty O's apple fritter was far more one note. There are a bit more flavor profile notes going on for Top Hot's apple fritter, but that might just be the apples they had because the dominant note for the Mighty O one was that apple flavor, which was very intensely apple. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That was really cool. Not the answer I expected. And I'm probably going to try and do a more proper, not double blind <laughs> study of Mighty O versus Topbot another day. So that's my little taste test. What did you think? Would you like me to do more of these? Because this was not what I expected and maybe not what you expected. If you have any comments, suggestions, leave them below along with hitting that like and subscribe button so I can do more of these. And as always, I'm Jess Tales or Geek, hoping that you get to go and eat all things and maybe experiment on occasion because you never know what you're going to find out. Laters!